All right, so I've got a, a, a new uh, metal expansion bracelet right here. Um, and today I'm gonna show you how to remove a link because sometimes uh, even with that, uh, depending on the size of the person's wrist, um, that is going to be too loose. Um, so anyway, uh, it's not a crazy difficult uh, process to do, but it can be a little tricky if you haven't done it uh, before. So I actually have a customer who has asked me to take out a link on an existing one. So um, we will uh, grab that and um, what would say we will take the royal we anyway um, I will grab that bracelet and I'll show you how to remove a link from a metal expansion band okay first thing is we're gonna get this uh, band off the watch so we can work on it um, in a reasonable reasonable manner here so I'm going to um, uh, just the spring bar tool put in here and we'll just um, Move these spring bars. Put that in the tray. I'm gonna try. I did a video not that long ago, and I apologize for the camera angles. It was awful. My head was in the way most of the time. So we're gonna try to do better this time. <laughs> okay. So um, what we're going to do to get into this um, is we are going to let me grab a little screwdriver here. Um, uh, we've got the top side here, and we're going to remove one of the links, and we are going to open up uh, this bottom part on the bottom section, not on the top. Um, and we're going to remove the spring that's in here, um, and uh, we have to open up these tabs gently so we don't distort them. And then on either side of this. Um, there are two U's that come in, and those are the things that flex that allow this thing to expand. Um, they kind of like twist and they flatten out when you pull the um, pull the uh, pull the bracelet. So anyway, so let's get that centered over there. I'm gonna do my best to uh, things now. I've got a couple of different sets of screwdrivers. I got a Hortec. This is my kind of secondary set, um, and I end up honing these and using these, you know, kind of as pokers and prodders a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna use one of those, and I'm going to. Uh, just take one from the middle. So now I'm going to turn it the other way, but I'm going to uh, open up the bottom portion of, of one of these here. So let's see if we can do it. I can keep uh, this in the camera so everybody can see. Uh, so I'm going to take this first one right here. I'm just going to gently come in and I'm just going to get started. So open it up. And then as soon as I can, I'm going to move this, use this polyamide tool. Number one, it's wider because I don't want to distort that little tab. Uh, as best I can, so I'm just gonna come there again. Let me try to keep that in the in the light. I'm gonna open that up so it's nice and nice and flat. And then there is our there's our first. Let's see, we've opened up that tab there, and we can see uh, two little prongs that are going down down um, down below. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to get it started a little. But I'm going to use this flat polyamide tip. I'm going to open it up. There we go. So now I'm going to have to do uh, two more on either side um, so I can get out um, the, uh, the required link. Started. Close this flat. And we're going to do the same side. Sorry, the same thing on the other side. impatient there and I used the screwdriver to put it all the way up and now I feel like it's just a little it's just a tad distorted I'm just gonna take these parallel pliers and just pinch it there and straighten it out again anyway just a pair of parallel pliers there I just took that tab and straightened it out okay so then now that we've got those two um, uh, available to us there 
um, I'm going to uh, undo the tab so we have to get it get it out on one of the top top links so I've got two there open on that side two open on this side in the bottom and now I'm going to take the one in the middle I'm going to open it up on just one of the sides Just get it started. I'm going to use this flat polymer tool just because it's nice and flat to open it up. And away we go. So, got that open just like that. Now, let's grab a small pair of pliers. I think these are going to be too big. So, get for making it up as I go along. Out of the way. Just gonna grab a small screwdriver. Just gonna go into the side. So now I've got that middle link that's open, and I'm gonna pull out um, this top one. And when that happens, I should be able to take them, and it's gonna slide out and apart. So I'm just gonna grab that gently in there. Got that a uh, little bit just kind of open up there. And there is the first one that's come out. So now, you see, I should be able to just lift this up like this. This is why I didn't, I didn't do the bottom as well, because I don't need to. So there's that one still in there. And then we're gonna get rid of this, uh, this section uh, on this. So that's gonna sit like this. And then we are going to um, open up this other one. So I'm just opening up the top one on the other side. There. take out, or that one doesn't need to be taken out, we'll take out this one. So there is our, there's our link that's, um, that's out. This part of it, the bottom part. Uh, we're going to need to remove this part. I was get I was getting mixed up. So we're gonna open up one more piece here. It's been a while since I did one of these two, which doesn't uh, doesn't help. At least I remind remembered the way that to slide uh, to slide it out. Let's <laughs> pull that out. bottom piece I think we already did just bent down for the reason here all right so now we've got our pieces together here so um, we've got it open there so now I've, I've left this hook in here so now it can hook into the bottom portion Take out here, you can hook into the bottom portion, which is right there. I might have to get in close with my loop. It's springed in a little bit. Oh. So 
So a little bit tricky, we sprung that right out there. All right, so we're gonna take this one, we're gonna take this one back. Okay, so we got it in there, great. And now we're going to put the next one in as well. Actually, I think what we'll maybe do is we've got that portion in there now. So we'll fold over this one so it doesn't spring out again. Just fold that over. Butterfingers. Just make sure you push the link all the way up. Because you want to get this to fold back down in the same position that it was in before. That's pretty good. So what we'll do when the brace all together, we'll go and we'll shore these up and make sure they're pinched together really nicely. Okay, so now we can take this other bit. We're going to put this back into the bottom portion of the other one. So there it is there. We're going to do the same thing. Once it's in there and pressed together nicely, I'm going to close that off and then we can flip this thing around. Get my hands out of the way. So get that top one clipped in there. I'm going to push over this top. And we'll flip it around. And now we're going to take these two uh, two U clamps and place them back into the bracelet. Okay, we're gonna bring it up a little bit so we can get it in there. Let's see if I can do this on camera as best I can here. <laughs> Into two places, so there's one up above, and then we're going to get it down and go put it in the other one as well. So, again, just a little bit of patience is required. Which I will attempt to demonstrate. <laughs> there is um, uh, a, a short and a long one, so what we can do is we can start the long one down here, so it's lined up, and then we can line up the other one, and then we pop it back in. So you can see there, we put it back into the, and the first one is in, all the way. So now we'll flip it around. It'll look like it was easy if, we, if I did it from the open side here. So we'll try to do the same thing. So again, we'll start at the top or on the longer side. So it gets going. Oh, my fingers are probably in the way, sorry. This way, can you see it? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna flip this around and do the other side first. I'm gonna put the long side down here. Get that started. The first one may look so easy. Sorry, my fingers so we got in there. No, not quite. You got the top. Not the bottom. I had a string of uh, customers that wanted this done, and I felt like I was getting, I was getting pretty good at it. But it's been a little while. Perfect. Okay, so what we'll do next is I'm going to fold over the top portion of the bracelet. So 
now that is back. And then we can fold the two bottom portions here and here to cover up the springs there as well. So with it pressed against the bench, I'm liking the look of that a lot. And the other side. So we are now done. You can see. You never know where that was done. I don't think it's right here. You can see it's a little bit tight there. Here we go. Hope that wasn't too convoluted for everyone. <laughs>